Hey everybody, it's Team Collector anyone here, and today we have an Epic Metal Day. In the background, we just have some uh, pure metal gems. They're a new kind of card I've kind of got into uh, the flipping of, uh, buying for you know low and selling for high. Uh, the value on these ones in the background are just tremendous. Um, they're over $100 each, uh, which I think is just absurd um, for one card. Um, but based on you know the valuation and the recent sold, you know I can kind of see why they're beautiful cards. But anyway, let's get into the mail day. Lots of mail from eBay. A little bit of Facebook, and I'm not sure if any from Instagram, but let's get into it. First one here, I already get into, but uh, boom, okay. This one is from eBay. It's a funky card here. Uh, this is see if we can get it focused. It's from the Stanley Cup, you know, final there. Moments after they won in the dressing room there, Victor Hedman with the Con Smythe and the Stanley Cup. Just the canvas card from 2021, I believe, Series One. Series 2, okay, so it's even newer. On the back, he's playing football, which is also kind of funny. Uh, this one, I think I just paid $2 shipped. Um, Surprise is only worth that, considering, you know, what is on the front. Next one here is from Facebook. I won an auction for two cards, which I ended up selling one before I even got it. Uh, it's for this one, uh, Ham and Cheese, Johnny Goudreau, Blue Ice. It's not the rookie, it's second year. This one's out of 99. This one, though... Some into the background, uh, 1617 Flare Showcase, Pure Metal Gems. This one uh, is at a 150. Got these both for, I believe, $8 shipped. Ended up selling this one for $12 by itself. So whatever I make off of the blue ice is kind of the, the bread and butter there. And this one is from Beauty Breaks. So this was from Instagram here. Uh, Beauty Breaks is a long time subscriber. Um, I'm subscribed to his channel too, you should check him out. I'll put a link in, his, in the description. It's been a little swap here. Uh, he had a lightning card I wanted, and I had a Canuck card he was interested in. So uh, first off, let's show the, the extras he threw in. I threw in a couple extras for him as well. Uh, the Mir Nikita Kucherov, nice card there from MVP. A nice top picks, Vincent LeCavier. I believe that's from what, early 7-8 Upper Deck Series 2. So a nice early Upper Deck um, card there. And then a Vincent LeCavier, number 8. I believe this might be a rookie card. It's a rookie card, so fantastic. So I'd like to thank him for the three there. And the main showcase of the deal was for this Andre Vasilevsky uh, player credentials. A fantastic card. Love the look of it. Sticker auto, but nonetheless, it is a fancy card that I, uh, I enjoy. So shout out to Beauty Breaks for that. Uh, next one here is... I'm not sure this one's from. I believe this was from Facebook. Uh, it was an auction. I think I ended up paying only like $20 for it. The card goes for... Time of recording over 100 on eBay, so you know I was happy to pick it up for you know a quarter of the price there or a fifth of the price. There's fantastic day with the cup. Um, there's six of them. This is my first one, so I still need the, the other few there. This next one here, uh, interesting packaging. I believe it's from eBay as well. I will have to find out though. Uh, yes, on the back here it shows it's uh, the Yanni Gorgit day with the cup. I was got a bunch of you know base cards in the back to protect it. Um, and Gordon did the cup. This is the second out of the six that I need. Uh, I bought this on eBay for thirty dollars. It was consistently selling between fifty and sixty. I listed it for thirty. I bought it right away. So a nice eBay snipe there. Uh, don't have many eBay snipes in my you know career of flipping cards. It's not something I usually look for because you can see the the sold history. So if you buy it for you know say thirty bucks, people are gonna be like, oh, it's only worth thirty dollars because that's what it sold for on eBay. So I'm. Um, not the biggest you know, flipper on eBay. This next one here is the, the third of the mail day here. I got a nice little bag here of 2021, you know, you know series one or two um, base cards. Dave the Cup, Nikita Kucherov. It's the, you know, the trio of the mail day here. Uh, fantastic card. Usually, um, Dave the Cup is, you know, them with the cup doing something on a motorbike, eating something out of a, you know, the, the cup or drinking out of the cup. But uh, this year it appears it's just them lifting the cup. Only six cards, typically they have most of the team. So I'm not sure if, you know, in the Upper Deck um, Extended Series, if they'll have more or in, in future they'll have more. This next one here is from Hockey Cards Plus, but I got it off the auction site on Facebook. Uh, I got it from the Minimum Bed, which was two plus four shipping, so I paid six dollars for it. And it is for this, shout out Hockey Cards Plus. Uh, Cal Foot autograph from Heroes and Prospects. Uh, after the trade uh, for David Savard, he's kind of fallen out of the lineup. 
with Luke Shen. I'm taking that uh, sixth position from him. So come playoff time, I don't see, I think he'll see a lot of ice. He might roll 7D at some points, but uh, he's not in the lineup currently. So he's a taxi squad, still prospect for the Lightning. Hopefully he doesn't get claimed in the expansion draft. But uh, you just never know what, what Seattle's going to do. This one came today. Um, hard to explain what it is without showing you, so I gotta open it. Interesting packaging, considering the card. We have a Seth Jones Young Gun Canvas 9.5. This one's selling for about sixty dollars on eBay. Uh, that's the KSA version as well. Uh, PSA and Beckett does go for more. But I was able to pick this up for 26 shipped. So hopefully I can make some money on it. Um, Seth Jones, nice player. So yeah, trying to flip that one. I came with some, some cards here. Let's see what we got. Just some 90s cards, so I don't need anything interesting. Uh, three more packages to go. Nope, sorry, two more. This one was a fantastic um, snipe on the auction site. Uh, really limited cards. Um, he ended up sending it with tracking, which was, you know, I didn't ask for tracking, I didn't pay for tracking, but he sent tracking, so maybe he didn't trust me, or maybe he just wanted to get make sure he got the money for the cards, which I understand well, considering, you know, kind of what they are. This first one here is a Shane Gersich. Came out of college, I believe he was drafted in the fourth or fifth round to the Capitals. I played one game in the 17-18 season, and it's been the AHL ever since. So players like this kind of have... A small following. Um, the collectors don't collect. Uh, not a lot of Capitals collectors would collect this card, but you know, there's some of them are just Saint Gersich collectors, and they collect everything. So this one being out of five, hopefully I can you know make my money back on the deal. I ended up paying 45 shipped, I believe. So hopefully this one can you know I can get 45. And this next one here is the high gloss out of 10 Shane Gersich. Uh, high glosses typically go for you know north of two hundred dollars a piece. This being Shane Gersich, um, you know maybe a hundred dollars, but still that way I kind of triple my money on the deal with these two cards. Uh, the problem is just finding a buyer. Um, there's only ten of these in the world, so I'm not sure who would buy it. Maybe a high gloss collector, but at that, are they going to pay a hundred dollars? Probably not. So anything more than you know what I paid them, I'd be happy for. Them. I'm not looking to you know burn anybody, but you know, make a. A little bit of cash so I can, you know, finish buying those uh, Day with the Cups. This last one here. Uh, whew, oh, yes. I'm not sure how to show it, so I'll just take it out of the top loader. This one was another um, auction bid win. This Ron Francis Black Plate from the Cup. I ended up paying $21.75 shipped. It's from 1011 the Cup. As you can see, the one of one there. So this card's in pretty good condition considering being, you know, 10 years old, considering it's the 2021 season. So yeah, hopefully I can get $50 and $60 for that card. I think that concludes the mail day. So yeah, guys, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.